hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in detail about the differences between addition polymerization and condensation polymerization coming to the addition polymerization it is also called as chain polymerization so what is the other name of addition polymerization chain polymerization similarly condensation polymerization is also known as step polymerization so what is the other name for condensation polymerization that is called as step polymerization in general the addition polymerization results in the formation of thermoplastics so through addition polymerization it is possible to prepare thermoplastic polymers whereas condensation polymerization involves the formation of thermo setting polymers so coming to the good examples of thermoplastics they includes polyethylene polyvinyl chloride polystyrene etc and coming to the good examples of thermo setting polymers they includes bakelite polyester and nylon etc so bakelite polyester nylon are good examples of thermo setting polymers and they can be prepared through condensation polymerization whereas polyethylene pvc polystyrene are good examples of thermoplastic polymers and they can be prepared through addition polymerization generally the monomers containing multiple bonds so the monomers containing multiple bonds that means double bond or triple bond participates in addition polymerization and the good examples are ethylene ch2 double bond ch2 or acetylene ch triple bond ch so the monomers containing multiple bonds such as double bond or triple bond undergoes addition polymerization whereas the monomers containing active functional groups so especially the monomers containing active functional groups such as oh cooh nh2 participates in condensation polymerization and good examples of such monomers includes glycol ch2 oh ch2 oh or hexamethylene diamine so the monomers containing at least two active functional groups participates in condensation polymerization during addition polymerization no by products are formed so what happens during addition polymerization no by products are formed but coming to the condensation polymerization it involves the formation of by products like water hcl etc so during condensation polymerization elimination of by products such as water hcl methanol takes place whereas in addition polymerization no by products will be formed with the result once if we check the molecular weight of the polymer it is the exact multiple of monomers 
so the molecular weight of polymer is is the sum of molecular weights of monomers but coming to the condensation polymerization which involves the formation of by products with the result the molecular weight of polymers is not the sum of molecular weight of monomers so in the case of addition polymerization the molecular weight of polymer is exactly equal to the sum of molecular weight of monomers but in case of condensation polymerization the molecular weight of the polymers is not the sum of molecular weight of the monomers since it involves the formation of by products here when we carefully observe the mechanism of addition and condensation polymerization here the mechanism is rapid why it involves the chain mechanism and hence it takes place rapidly coming to the condensation polymerization it involves the step mechanism the monomers will be added in a step wise manner and hence it the mechanism is slow so addition polymerization involves the chain mechanism which is rapid whereas condensation polymerization involves step mechanism and it is a slow process here during addition polymerization in order to initiate addition polymerization it requires the presence of initiator so initiator is required to conduct addition polymerization in the case of condensation polymerization it requires the presence of catalyst so catalyst is required in order to conduct condensation polymerization so especially when we carefully observe the mechanism of addition polymerization it involves three steps like chain initiation chain propagation and chain termination so how many steps are involved through addition polymerization it involves three steps namely chain initiation chain propagation and chain termination so once we carefully observe the mechanism of condensation polymerization it involves several steps in each step the monomers will add on with the result what happens so it takes place in a slow manner in a step wise manner and hence it results in the formation of a polymer having low molecular weight whereas in the case of addition polymerization we will get a polymer with high molecular weight so the molecular weight of the polymer is high through addition polymerization but when we carefully observe the molecular weight of a polymer obtained through condensation polymerization it is low
is it clear about the differences between addition polymerization and condensation polymerization if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day